So uh, I start out talking about numerical differentiation, and, and the subtitle is, is sort of mean-spirited. It's a, something that doesn't really work that well. Well, it, it's not so much as it doesn't really work that well, but it doesn't work the way we would hope it to. And I'll kind of explain what that means as we go on. And I'll start with uh, a definition, right? Uh, where we're going to be trying to calculate uh, the, or estimate the derivative. Well, how are we going to go about it? Well, start off here with uh, our uh, Taylor series. Uh, we're just going to take it out to, to basic, basically uh, a linear approximation with a, a quadratic error term and uh, solve this for f prime of x and when we do this we get 1 over h times f, uh, f of x plus h minus f of x and our error term is going to be the second derivative at some point times uh, h over 2. Okay, We can take this and I'm do an example, say with cosine, um, pick uh, uh, a point pi over f x equal pi over 4, uh, then the error is going to be less than uh, h over 2 because our second derivative of cosine is, you know, also uh, like a negative cosine. And um, its absolute value is less than or equal to 1. And so uh, this all turn, the error is going to be less than h over 2. And so if we let uh, h be equal to 0 0.01, uh, we can do our calculation and get uh, our approximation at negative 7.106, and where our actual value is negative 7. 0 0.07106, uh, which is pretty close. It doesn't uh, look bad. It seems to work, okay? But then we put it in an algorithm, okay? We can set up an algorithm uh, with inputs, uh, the point where we want our derivative, the value uh, h, and the number of times we want to, want to iterate. And see, each time our, our h, we're going to cut it in two, okay? And we're going to go through m times. And our idea is that this should get, our, we should get closer each time. But let's, let's see what the problem is. Okay, so I'm going to check this out on my Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we're going to be dealing with arctan, and so I can bring that in from NumPy. We'll also need the square root function, and I think somewhere later in the sheet we're going to need the zeros, so let me bring that in. Uh, here is a fairly transparent translation of our algorithm into Python. I'm going to define that, and now I'm going to apply the algorithm. Now, Here's the thing. This is a test case where we know the answer. The, our answer is one-third, okay? You know, we tested against known benchmarks. So let's see. I put in m equal 20, and uh, th this should be uh, correct. Well, and that is correct, right? Because here I've got our real answer down right here. Now, our intuition says if we go higher on this, it should get better. What happens if I put in 75, as was suggested in the, the last slide we looked at? It goes to zero, which zero is not equal to one-third. Something has happened. Let's see if we can fix it. So what I have posted here is a uh, refinement of the previous technique. I said, why not just go out uh, another uh, step or two in our approximation? And so here, here uh, I, I do a Taylor series, and I do it out uh, 
make it a, a higher order here, here, a quadratic interpolating polynomial. And I get a little tricksy here. I, instead of a plus on it, I'll put in a minus, and this is what I get. And so if I subtract these two, and there should be a parenthesis, I've got a misplaced parenthesis, but you guys are smart. You can figure out what that should be. Um, I have my derivative is approximated by this. Mm -hmm. And over here is my error term. And my error term is smaller. It's, it's got a square of the h in it, and it should be better. So we can put in the algorithm like this, but again, we're going to have trouble. I'm, I'm going to bring up the sheet to show you how. So I, I've translated in my, my second algorithm. Okay. And so you see, again, it's just pretty transparent what we're doing here. And let's see, I enter it, and then I'll do it for 20. Okay. Hey, I need one third. That's close to one third. What happens here? I put in 75 as before. It goes to zero again. Something is wrong. What, how do the two compare? Well, they both look pretty good. The, the second one is, is better for 20 than the first one is. I have some more digits down here. But again, if I put in uh, 75 in both of them, and here, it's zero. Something is going wrong. Um, can I fix it? I got to try to fix it. Okay, so here we're, we're going to take the method that we just did, and we're going to take it not to the second degree or the third degree, but kind of like to the infinity degree. Uh, we, we here have our, our Taylor's series, and, and this is not a Taylor polynomial, but a Taylor's series, uh, where we just you know, put in f of x plus h is equal to what it is in the Taylor's series, and f of x minus h, what it is when you substitute it into the Taylor series. And then we subtract the bottom one from the top one. Okay. And then, okay, well, this gives us this term right here. We do a solve there for f prime of x, and we have this 1 over 2h uh, times f of x plus h minus f of x minus h plus, okay, this complicated looking error term. Okay, so th at this point, we're, we're more or less where we were with the previous algorithm. Okay, now it's, it looks nasty, so we simplify it. We'll write it as L is equal to phi of H plus A2, H squared, etc., 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 where L is my derivative. And phi of H is, okay, 1 over 2, my approximator of the derivative, okay? And so this, this is my rather intricate error term over here. So I go, I go like I am iterating. I replace h with h over 2, okay, and uh, do, do some combination. We, we combine 2 with 4 times 2, so this is the equation. We're going to label it 2. We'll combine it with 4 times uh, itself, okay. All right, and then so do uh, subtract. I guess let's see, subtract the top one from the bottom one. Actually, uh, okay, something's going. Looks like this should be a five over here. Hmm. What's going on? I don't know. 
let's see. Let's assume that I've done the arithmetic, uh, and let, let's actually let's not worry about the exact arithmetic at this point, and let's roll on. Um, so we solve. You know, I guess this is a three somehow. We we solve um, l for l here, okay. Uh, by dividing by 3, and we have this expression again. Okay, where are we headed? Okay, well, uh, well uh, things are getting too complicated again, so let's let psi of h be equal to this expression and roll it in. Okay, and we've eliminated the h squared term from the equation, so we only have h to the fourth, and remember, the h is going to be small, so uh, we can go through this sort of iterative process to get rid of terms of higher and higher degree. And the next slide, we, we set up the mechanism for it. We have dn of 1 to be equal to phi of h over 2n for 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to m. And we define d n of k recursively in this way. And then we define Richardson elimination, that, that uh, we, we can get our derivative, uh, approximation for our derivative in this way, where these, these a, k are our numbers that we get in our uh, approximation. So here we, we have our algorithm for Richardson uh, extrapolation uh, coded. Okay, we get it into the machine and we're going to do it again for the same benchmark case. And so what is it? Well, again, it's about one-third. Uh, we've got this many digits. It looks good, but we, we've been here before. Okay. Um, 20 hasn't given us pro problem. Let's see. Let 75 is the number that gives us problems. And we do that, and... Not exactly zero, but darn near zero, folks. <laughs> okay, so uh, the fault here is not with our algorithm, but with our expectations. Uh, we expect to get closer and closer as m gets larger. And if we were doing our arithmetic exactly, we would. But what happens here is we have these differences. And when these differences, ordinarily when these differences get close to zero, it's good for us. But, but, but because of how this is uh, set up, uh, where the closer we get to zero, because of machine arithmetic, because of our, our good friend, the computer itself, the machine arithmetic, when we get that gets closer to zero, we're losing precision. Okay, because you know, uh, just because it's close to zero doesn't mean that the the precision isn't important, and so we lose precision uh, even as it gets closer to the answer, and uh, just by the virtue of the the uh, numerator getting small and the denominator getting large. This son of a gun goes to zero. So here's a thought. We get good answer for m about 20. <laughs> Why don't we be happy for m about 20? Okay. Uh, and uh, they've done some good hard math here uh, on showing us the Richardson extrapolation. Uh, but I don't know if we're actually going to have to differentiate very much. 
So here we go.